Hi, welcome for our uh, line training sessions. In this session, we are going to discuss how to withdraw the leaves after approval. We have seen in our previous uh, sessions how to apply for a leave and how the employee can go for apply for a leave from employee role and uh, how the manager will be able to approve it or reject it. That's what we have seen. Now we are going to discuss how to do the withdrawals. Once employee log into the applications, uh, employee role is sufficient for leave apply. Let's go to my client uh, group, sorry. Uh, let's go to me, time and absences. When employee is applying for a leave, and employee can do that here. Let me go for add options here. And when employee is applying for a leave, if he wanted to have some guidance or any other important information, he can go through the journeys. So journeys will show the like guidelines uh, when employee is trying to perform some tasks here. So let's continue without journey here. Now we are going for uh, selecting options type. The moment when employee choose options type right side, it is showing that assignment for which assignment employees while working with options plan, uh, options type, you can mention whether employee is applying for a particular assignment or for multiple assignments. So we'll find that. We'll find that here it is. Okay. Uh, then 24 days, it is showing the number of days uh, leaves, 24 days, and uh, start date, employees applying on 22nd, and 24th, and total three days, employees applying for a leave. And this is the following reason. Uh, Attachments are required. You can go for drag and drop and go for submit. Employees are submitted for leave. Now it's a supervisor hierarchy. It's waiting for uh, approval from the manager. Waiting approval. But I want to know who is the manager for this employee. We can get it from here. Personal information. Who is the manager? Find employment details here. Good employment information. It's showing that Curtis Fitty is the manager, is the line manager. So let's log out from here and log into the applications. And employee submitted for the leave. Now, manager has received the notification here and let's say it's going to approve it. We can see that the leave has been approved by the manager. Let me just log out from the manager credentials. Now, employee is going to log in here. Employee wants to know that the leaves he has updated. Nothing but existing absences. You can go to me and find the expenses here. 
oh sorry not expenses time and absences click on time and absences here time and absences here I employee can see that existing absences here. This is the leave which has been scheduled and as well as up. Now, employee has decided I don't want to go with this. I would like to go for with this. An employee can go for edit. New without a journey. Now this is the leave total three days. Employees up now is going for with options with drawn has been up submitted. It's waiting for approval. Waiting with well approval from the manager. Let's manager log into the applications here. Manager will be receiving the workflow notification for uh, with all here. So sometimes maybe this notification will be delayed for a couple of minutes, not more than that. Go with all options or uh, you can get it from here. Yeah, action is required. Work list also we can find. Work list is just like inbox. When employees log into the applications, they can find all the notifications. Workflow notifications over here so with the goal of the options recorder. We are looking for upload. We can log in as an employee. To navigator. And I can see the time and absences here. That the leave with the turn completed successfully or not. Go down here, existing absences. This is how uh, we can go for uh, withdrawals and as well as the approval for that. Approval for that withdrawals here. So while working with options uh, type, we will be enabling whether employee can update the leave, apply this details according to that, it will work. Okay. Thank you.